One of the things I still encounter uh, with many traces when I'm at customer sites or doing a class or a seminar is the uh, occurrence of these TCP checksum incorrect messages. People think it's a network problem and you know what it might be but probably not. Uh, if you did have valid checksum errors you'd have a lot of retransmissions because obviously your stack would drop those packets. So these aren't real errors and I want to just take a moment to explain to you how to deal with it. One way that people like to deal with this is if you go down to your detail pane and we just right click here, go to protocol preferences and you can actually uncheck validate IP4 checksum if possible. That's that's one way to do that and when you do that you know it, it's, it stops going red but it's still flagged here and that's the TCP header so you can actually collapse that go to the TCP header same thing applies come over here show TCP oh, excuse me you want to validate TCP checksum if possible see so you can do it that way that's one way to do it the other way to do it is checksums can be disabled from your card so this is my card my Ethernet card and you can see it says right here IPv4 checksum offload receive and transmit enable so what the checksum does if you're not familiar with it is as the um, driver packages your packet your frame together it needs a checksum IP needs a checksum TCP needs a checksum UDP uh, doesn't need one but it, it has checksums as well and those checksums basically make sure the integrity of the packet is fine so if you don't want to calculate those checksums in firmware or hardware that's what the offloading means it means that the checksums are not calculated in software or the driver it's calculated in firmware which theoretically and practically as a matter of fact makes it a little quicker so with checksum uh, offloading enabled you get a, a performance boost and I've read documents anywhere from 10% to as high as 30% performance gain by having checksum offloading enabled for an everyday user uh, I don't really see too much of a difference servers sure of course so you've got two ways to do it one we can just disable it here and then over here as well disable and you just go through it all disable 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 right that's one way to do it um, but again if you're concerned about the performance aspect then you could come over here and do it the other way and literally just right click or check this validate TCP checksum if possible that's it you just got to remember you've done this so if you ever do run across a legitimate checksum issue you'll you should remember to turn that back on hope that helped enjoy have a good day